You got formal and you got casual. Like, come on now. What more can you need from a freaking shoe? Like, I feel like, honestly, this is the only shoe that you need in life. Like, it, it's kind of giving that. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl, Sierra. Hey, yeah. And I am back with a Margiela Babouche review. First off, hi, welcome, welcome. If you are new here, my name is Sierra Parker and I am all about reviewing timeless classic garments. And today's video is no different. I am reviewing a shoe that I believe is the most versatile tabby you could possibly freaking buy. I don't know what's taking me so long to get this tabby, but I got it now and literally I have yet to stop wearing it since I've purchased it. I purchased them maybe like two weeks ago now. So this is like a two week review on the Marcella Babouche shoe. And yeah, they came pretty fast. I ordered them off Essence. I got them on sale, which was great because I was not going to pay the full price. If you are new here to my channel, one thing about me and the things that I choose to invest in, yes, I'm investing in them, but I refuse to invest the retail price. Like every designer piece I own, I literally got on sale and that is how i can justify buying the pieces that i have so getting into the margiela babouche i'm saying it wrong babesh babouche oh i'm saying it right babouche babouche i believe is like a persian term which literally means like foot covering and like i guess the back of your foot is going to be out and babouche or like the slipper style was actually derived in morocco so if you go to morocco you might see a lot of people with this style shoe um also in like harlem it's a lot of like senegalese people that live here i always see people in like literally a leather slipper shoe they sell them in like little stands in harlem so yeah that's a little bit about the term babouche and in terms of like when the babouche tabby was actually implemented into margiela's collections i do not know but if you do know please let me know down us know down in the comments because i couldn't find that information um it just kept saying like oh yeah the tabby toe is from like the 15th century japanese sock which if you didn't know that like margella is not um the the maker of the tabby toe from japan this style this cleft toe something that they've worn but i also read and a book that I have talking about like Margiela and everything about him. It was said that once Margiela, Martin Margiela found out that the big toe being separated from the other toes is like connected to the heart and it's like good for the heart for your toes to be split like that. I think that's part of the reason to why he kind of like capital, capitalized on that. So I purchased these babies and it's funny because I had them on my wish list but my coworker she actually purchased them before I did so I got to see them on her foot and ask her like about sizing and everything and she was telling me that she went true to size. Now I will say before prior to purchasing these I had waited so long and I was like hoping my size didn't sell out because I just literally did not know what size to go with. Luckily enough, I stay in New York so I was able to go to the Margiela store and I went there. They did have the babouche but they only had one freaking size or two sizes and I think it was like a 36 which is way too small and like a 40. So I'm like, okay, I'll try the 40. And so just to give you guys a little bit of context on like what I've what sizes I've done in my tabbies in the past or like other shoes by Margiela in the past. Um, I'll first link up a video here in the cards for you because I have a video talking all about sizing when it comes to these shoes and how I came to come do the sizes that I did in these shoes. But for my Margiela tabby boots, I did a 38, which I've come to the terms that my shoe size is like a 38.5. I feel like my OGs, y'all probably like Sierra sis. Cause I know I said I was a 39 and I am a 39. In the replica sneaker, the cutoff and the sneaker itself, I'm like a 39. Uh, but in the boot, I chose to do a 38, mainly because like, I don't know, I felt like I wanted to go a little bit smaller because I wanted it to be a little bit more snug on my foot and this shoe literally fits me like perfectly. I wouldn't have gone bigger or smaller so I'm happy I did a 38 in the boot. And then in my tabby slippers, my ballerina tabby slip slippers, I did a 37.5 which that, too small. 
That was too, I should have never done that size to begin with, which is why my foot has literally bust through the front of them, um, which I'm okay with because I feel like it kind of goes along the whole Margiela deconstructed aesthetic. So I kind of embrace that part. But if I'm honest, I probably would have done those also in like a 38 initially, given that they do like stretch over time. I don't want to say stretch, but the leather definitely does relax, especially on like hotter days when it's like a lot of moisture outside. You can expect for your foot literally to be like slipping off, you know, because I don't know, it's like the sweat and like the leather, it just... It, it makes them expand a little bit. But when it came to the babouche, I'm like, okay. So this one was really different for me and was really throwing me because as you guys can see, it can literally be collapsed. So I definitely wanted to be able to wear it this way and also obviously this way. So, you know, I wanted both options. I don't know why I'm thinking about this, but it made me think about like how people are buy jackets and they're like, oh, I love this jacket, but I can't close it. But I'll never close it. Like I always leave it open. It's like, that's kind of crazy to me. <laughs> so I'm just like, no, if I'm gonna invest in a shoe of this price, like I wanna make sure I can wear it both ways comfortably so yeah i went to the margiela store and i tried on a size 40 which is the closest size that they had to what i would be getting and that the 40 was obviously way too big but me and the sales associate there who she was very helpful um we agreed that a 38.5 would probably be perfect because how big the 40 was i'm like a 39 which is what i typically do again in the slip on which is similar it's funny because like obviously this is a slip on too, right? But I did a 39 in this guy and I did a 38.5 in this guy. So both slip on styles, but I got them in different sizes. And obviously they're just made differently to begin with. So it kind of makes sense why I would do um, different sizes. Calf leather I find is like a little bit more durable and therefore it takes a little bit more time to like break in. Whereas these guys, I've had them I think like three or four years now and the, the leather is like really soft and I've had experienced some again like relaxing or expansion with the leather but it's nothing crazy like I would definitely say this is a quality shoe it's manufactured very well so therefore the the materials used to make this shoe like they hold up over time so yeah with that being said I was like I do not know what size to do so I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna trust my gut. I'm just gonna do the 38.5. They also had a 39 available, but I was like, I'm gonna do the 38.5 because I feel like that's gonna be perfect. Like my foot should just be perfect on it. Ordered the 38.5, literally perfect on my foot, you guys. I was just like so happy that I didn't have to return them or exchange them because I was like, that's gonna be a freaking headache. Uh, well, not really, but I. it's just like, it's, it's taking time out of my day and I'd rather use that time to do something else. And I didn't have to do that. I freaking wore them. I brought them on my trip to New Orleans and I wore them with you, my little Rick Owens dress, which was really cute. Probably go true to size with this guy. And that is exactly what my coworker did, who I told you guys, she bought the shoe even before I did. And she told me that she went true to size and the size that she has is what she has in all of her other tabbies. And I would say the purpose of me getting the tabby babouche is mainly because, again, my freaking shoe, I bust out the front of them. I've had them resold like three times. I've had them almost five years now. And one of them just started to squeak when I walk. And it was just annoying. I was just like, you know what? Let me just at least, I'm still gonna wear these, but I'm like, let me just at least get another shoe that is gonna equally be just as versatile, just as comfortable. And yeah, I found that to be definitely the Margiela Babouche little slipper situation. And I don't know, I've seen these on other people and I would definitely say seeing them on other people has also also inspired me to get these because I like the way people have been styling them. And in terms of like the leather and everything, so this is gonna be again a calf skin leather. They are produced in Italy, which all Margiela tabbies are produced in Italy. And again, I read in my Margiela book that in the beginning it was only one manufacturer in Italy that would produce the tabby boots or the tabby in leather. I don't know if that's still a thing, but I thought that was like a very interesting fact as well. Because on the back for Margiela shoes, always the 22 will be circled. 22 is for the, for shoes, shoes collections. And in terms of like style of them, like I feel like this tabby literally looks good with any and everything you choose to wear them with. So that is why I would say it's the most versatile shoe. Cause I feel like with the tabby boot, for one, it's elevated off the ground, right? So it's a heel. So I don't know about you, but personally, I don't like wearing like heels all the time for my everyday. Like this is definitely once in a while type of a shoe for me. 
uh, for my lifestyle anyway who knows in the future maybe it'll be more so prominent in my life but for my everyday I definitely prefer a flat shoe something that is really light on my foot that I can just really maneuver in and since I've been wearing tabbies for so long I would definitely say that the tabby is like second skin second walking to me or the fact that it's flat on the ground with the tabby like obviously is going to be just really easy to walk in and I also like the fact that you know obviously you can wear it this way as like a loafer style which I feel like this way is a little bit more elevated of a way to wear this shoe especially if you're choosing to wear it a little bit more formally I do follow someone on Instagram who I believe wore these with like a suit and I thought it looked so freaking sharp but obviously like the slipper version you know when you think slippery you think like at home chilling so with that whole concept in mind like the slipper version is obviously gonna resonate more casual and I love that this is actually how I've been wearing it for the most part it's definitely like collapse um, which unfortunately like the little white stitch is now a little bit dirty from like my the sweat on the back of my feet probably but yeah I love the fact that it can be you know let down this way so you got formal and you got casual like come on now what more can you need from a freaking shoe like I feel like honestly this is the only shoe that you need in life like it's kind of giving that and yeah I, I been wanting to like wear my other shoes because I already am feeling like I don't want to wear these down but when I tell y'all like literally anything I want to wear them with they go with I feel like with the tabby toe I don't know the tabby toe I just feel like it's you either love it or you don't and I love it and this is just my classic like loafer style I guess so I would definitely say if you're in the market for a tabby and you're just like confused you don't know which one to do this one is definitely one I would say again is worth investing in especially for a first time tabby I really wish that this would have been like a first timer for me because I feel like this leather too would have looked so good had it been my first because again I've had my ballerina tabbies for almost like five years now this one five years like the leather would probably be just so like soft and like supple by now because again with this cow skin leather I'm sure it's gonna take me some time to like break in unfortunately though um as I told you I took them to New Orleans and I don't know I think that they were in my bag wrong because it's like a little like indentation here from probably I don't know what it's from but something that I had in my bag which is a little annoying so I'm hoping that this will subside through wear um, I think it will but also when it's on my foot you can't really tell that that's there so yeah a little annoying especially because I just got there but anyway it's gonna happen you know I'm not gentle at all with my things so it's probably the first of many little indentations to come but as you guys can see I have worn them and I have not yet gotten the tap the taps to put on them to protect you know the tabby tabby toe and you know just to protect the soul in general and when I went to the Margiela store actually to try these babies on the sales associate was telling me that it's best to get them sold as soon as you get them so that's something also that I would keep in mind if you are purchasing a tabby toe because again they're not cheap so you want to have them last you know through the years and to do that is to get them sold initially and I am going to do that probably within like the next week or so um the only thing is, is like when I where I take them like he takes the shoe for like four to five days you know it takes them a little bit of time to do it I'm like oh they're gonna be gone for me for like a week and I've already grown so attached to them so I think that's kind of why I've been putting it off and in terms of like comfortability I would definitely say it's comfortable yes but I would say like wearing them for an entire like eight hour work day especially if you work a job where you're on your feet I would say about like that halfway mark your foot is going to probably start to feel it that's also something that I know I have to start being smarter about and this is also something that I recommend to you guys to think about if you are working a job where you're standing up all the time it's best to wear shoes that are comfortable the a leather sole walking on freaking concrete it starts to become more comfortable comfortable to me the more I wear it but ultimately I know long term I'm going to have to start wearing more comfortable shoes if I'm choosing to wear to work a job where I'm going to be on my feet for the most part I love talking to like older people and I've always been like an old soul I grew up with my grandmother running errands with her all the time I worked in a nursing home and I like asked them all the freaking questions you know like what did you do when you were young or what did you do for this or how is your skin like this still you know so and one thing that I've heard from multiple older people is like make sure you are taking care of your feet with that being said I'm probably still gonna be a tabby girl <laughs> for now but yeah eventually I'm gonna have to you know probably wear start wearing my Margiela Reeboks a little bit more often 
yeah y'all i think that that's all that i have on the margiela babouche and if you guys have any more questions please let me know down in the comments but yeah i would definitely say i am super super happy with this investment and i'm gonna wear them today actually and i see myself wearing them for years and years to come this is also another tabby that i can see myself once i wear it to the ground repurchasing like this one is to stay i would say this is probably the most classic versatile shoe that i own at this at this point in my wardrobe so yeah would highly recommend if you are interested in a tabby but yeah, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, please, please, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more reviews like this or if you want to see more reviews on just classic timeless things, be sure to click the subscribe button. And thank you so much if you've watched all of the video. Heart, heart, heart. And I will see you guys in my next one. Peace.